Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too, that endless hunger. Oh yeah, hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex, it is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. This is being exposed to the promise! No! Take these off, people! Get away from my dog! One of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh. <laughs> Take him out before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutt. No. <laughs> Easy, bud. Friends, remember? 
is pure tranquilo. Cause no knows never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmo smell? Smell of nowhere. Where else would we be? Fur brain. His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky in cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma, how you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walkies for going. And the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matter. Same reason Katavia not go home. Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead hit. Mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. I am Groot. If by met you mean I saved your bark, then... Yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time, Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet, you had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. Family would never turn back on Cosmo. Ray since he was mere pup. Just because someone feeds you and trains you doesn't mean they're your family. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo Young are... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love. For protection. But humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must be loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never. But you have. They're somewhere here on nowhere, maybe needing your help right now. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Piotr Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions, you must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Cosmo not fit your eyes. That's it, buddy, you tell them! Nowhere is Cosmo home be. His pups, his family, will protect at all cost! Sick him, boy! <sighs> Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. You think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Fluck! Attacking scratch snatchers. Gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people. Let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. Yep. Yep. Drax, can you handle this? An intriguing texture. I fear I will regret this. Just don't start kicking up dust.
So, stolen codes, jail time. What exactly were you and Groot doing down here before? We got a gig from an old contact at Mantlos before you barged in for a family reunion with Mr. No Lips. Not the weirdest guy I know. You're the weirdest guy I know. The flock was that? An earthquake? Unlikely. We are not on Earth. Whatever they're doing, I think they just took it to the next level. I know it's slow going. Blame the Flarknards who wrecked everything. Do you know any shortcuts? In case you ain't noticed, the entire geometricals of this place have been Flarked. The ritual must be starting soon. Good question, bud. How do we know we can even stop something this powerful? Eh, probably a question for the bug lady. Too bad she ditched us. To save her people. She knows what she's doing, or... Raker said Nikki chose nowhere for the ritual, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time letting that one go. But that means Magus chose it. Probably because of the Cortex and how it can provide instant access to all believers everywhere. So we're gonna shut the door in its ugly face, ruin its big day, and kick it when it's down! Guardian of Galaxies, Cosmo is owing bullshit there. Welcome back! Hey, we've got an army of church goods between us and the Cortex. You coming? Nerd, Cosmo is retaking the power of security, where his pups are hiding. Without power, nowhere is being lost. Pups too. Gotcha. Be careful up there, buddy. security detail. Gross. That's a lot of brain powder. Yeah, that stuff will turn your airway to sludge. Gray lung, they call it. Good thing I've got my mask. Oh, that won't help. Them particles are so fine, they're already seeping right in. You probably already got the gray lung. Drax, little help, you hope. Drax, over here, hurry. I move as swiftly as is necessary. Well, you know I was just messing with you. What's that? There ain't no such thing as gray lung. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, you so fell for it. Gray lung. Ooh. Did you guys know? Oh, yeah. Naturally. You're always good for a laugh, Quill. Looking up or looking down? Do neither. Look your enemies in their eyes. What if I could? Staring down somebody's crotch ain't as effective. Practically falling apart. 
be all of nowhere. Looks like this soon. It'll get back on its feet. The giant head does not have feet. It used to. And what? Oof, got a crick in my back because of that. So they just up and left all this once they discovered the cortex? If by up and left you mean that luck went barking mad and booted everyone out, then yup. Not surprising. Imagine that thing falling into the wrong hands. Hey Groot, think you can get me up there? Right about there. This seems important to our task. I want to get a look from up high. Scoping? Scoping. like metal and, I don't know, something else. Ukrea. What's that? It's the waste product of a large Katathian slug. I'm not sure slug piss is exactly what I was thinking. Oh, the tremors have intensified. That's one way of putting it. It is an accurate statement. Well, it don't help none. Oh, what have they done to you? I've been thinking. Yeah, the, the nobodies look out for themselves, but they're also paranoid. That's an understatement. That's an understatement. So maybe at the first sign of... My baby. Perhaps there is a way to steer nowhere directly into the rift. Can't risk it if Nikki's here. You want to erase the best... You, uh... Okay, Rocket? No, I ain't okay. The Cortex, nowhere. What's gonna happen to this place? This filthy dump of cheap booze and shady units is the closest thing I got to a home. I am Groot. Yeah, the Milano's great, but a ship ain't the same. This isn't the first time someone's tried to take over nowhere, and it won't be the last. We've still got Cosmo on our side. Once we give the church the boot, he'll whip this place back into shape. <laughs> Hopefully not too good a shape. Thanks, Quill. Minor hiccup we need to consider. How do we even shut down the Cortex now that it's all supercharged? Yeah, there ain't gonna be an easy off button on that thing. Any chance you can hack it? Uh, we ain't talking about some junky appliance. This is the Flarkin Continuum Cortex, one of the most powerful artifacts in the known universe, maybe even before it. The Cortex isn't the problem here. It's the Flarknards who've hijacked it. We take them down, and the Cortex is just a machine with nobody at the wheel. How do you know there is a wheel? I, I saw no wheel. There ain't no wheel, but I don't like the idea of just leaving that thing powered up with Kirk Scott. We should focus on them faith conduits. I'm betting they all route through the same junction. That's gonna be the weakness. I'm surprised Thanos never tried to take Noah's resources during the war. Don't ever underestimate the Collector's political power. He's got something to bribe everyone. The Church accepts no bribes. They seek only submission.
getting pulled into skirmishes. Like we have any choice. They shoot, we shoot. Over here. Guess we're climbing brains again. All right, group. Let's make a bridge of our own. Let's watch out for quakes. Man, I really hope Warlock makes it to the finish line. <laughs> no, Goldie ain't counting on us. To him, we're just a bunch of scut soiling his fancy boots. He's seen what we can do. All right, easy now. So, once we get Nikki, we wait for Warlock to catch up? And the bug lady. Our plan requires a great many people. Who said saving the galaxy would be easy? I do not recall anyone making that claim. We're gonna get paid after all this, right? Somehow? <laughs> yeah, at least the metal. Made out of precious metal, so we sell Careful, it gets a little... Whoa! Peter, do you want to do the honors? Totally. Watch this. Surprise, Scott Parker! Don't forget, we're a team! Coordinate! Fall out! I will demolish your foes! Well done, you two! A tactfully executed maneuver! 
here for it. Now the true battle begins. Everyone ready? Game face is on. I have only one face. We'll put it in mean mode. <laughs> Done. What's everybody thinking? I'm thinking if Goldie didn't finish him off already, I got a grenade with Raker's name on it. Engraving an explosive is imprudent. Keep an eye out for Nikki. We get her away from these wackos, then worry about finding Warlock, Mantis, and whoever else. I have faith your spawn will be saved, Peter Quill. Let's not use the F word. We're not gonna lose her again. Nikki! They strapped her to their Flarkin machine, and they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into it. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there, but how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out. Yeah. 
Nikki! It's okay, I got you. Ruining everything. If you won't join me, then just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. the light inside me. The promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat. Please, give me an excuse to kill. Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle... I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. Damn it! Eh, they ain't getting far. I got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. Rocket, don't ever change. Tracker's online. Confirming Goldie's on the Dast and Sacro scut. Seatbelts, everyone. We're going in hot. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Got him! Alpha Hercula system, inside the Keystone Asterism. Got it. Coordinates are in. You're not getting away this time. Power down, power down. The world mine must have... Say we didn't try. Nikki's in there somewhere. There's gotta be a way. Yes. We overpower them with our own vastly superior fleet. Well, regrettably, we do not have one. Guys, we do our best work when we're out of options. Somebody's gotta have something. Rocket, anything? Uh, what about the Ravagers? You could ask for a temporary truce. Yondu's rotting away in the kiln, thanks to me. You could bust them out. Jailbreak the kiln. I'd rather take my chances with the church fleet. I'll bust them out. Yeah, I'd bet on Gamora. As would I. I so would I, but it doesn't matter. The rest of the Ravagers scattered during the war. Any survivors are laying low or serving time in one of a dozen backwater planets. Besides, What's a pirate without a ship? Uh, uh. 
Drax. You have royal blood. Perhaps it is time for the Prince of Spartax to return and rally his people. You been to Spartax lately? I have not. But Spartoi technology is well beyond... Spartax was sacked during the war because of its tech. You can't even land there anymore. <laughs> Groot, and no bad ideas. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going to the Shitari. That is the kind of wild card we're looking for, just not that one. The snakes would shoot us in the back. Assuming they don't shoot us in the front. Gamora, thoughts? Maybe Earth has heroes that can help us? Those guys in the pajamas? Mighty pajamas. Trust me, Earth hasn't caught up to everybody just yet. We need somebody with a fleet. <laughs> Hold on. What if the answer's been slobbering right in front of us this entire time? Peter, this beast cannot operate a ship. That's, that's not what I'm saying. Think about it. Cammy's pretty much useless to us, but she's also useless to the church. They want people to brainwash. I bet animals aren't even on their radar. They went after Cosmo. Cosmo's mind is way more advanced than ours. His intelligence makes him weak to the promise, just like Rocket. Thanks, but not an animal. What I'm saying is we know someone with an entire beast army, and I bet Raker hasn't even looked twice at her. How can you be certain she is not one of them? I am Groot. Guardians of the God! Nope, she's good. You do realize she still wants to flay us and feed us to her babies? Guys, this is it. Okay, our one last long shot. We've got to find a way to apologize and make things right. Okay, well, we'll get her a gift. A peace offering. I ain't going back in a cage. No, you know, think bigger. Way bigger. The one beast that she'd want more than any other. Drax knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes! You know where we're going. To Maklufor! To battle the legendary Fin Fang Foom! gonna fly into that, aren't we? They say that the rings of Maklu 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return.
<laughs> okay. Oh, a little bumpy, but we're all okay, right? <laughs> laughing that's good it's just it's perfect this is us this is how we park <laughs> well this is how quill parks anyways <laughs> we were not fated to die this day unless of course fin fang foom devours us whole <laughs> hey whoa, whoa, whoa. we gotta find him first <laughs> shall we <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. And convince Lady Hellbender to help us bust the church a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our spirits with a Katathian battle anthem. What? Like now? You know what? Flark it. Let's do it. Uh, listen closely. Ancient Katathian is a powerful tongue with words that hold great meaning. Follow as I lead the melody. So tra jutukluk, peldagor morgath, soltas flandergath. So tra jutukluk, peldagor morgath. So Targat Gornot Kol, Vol Malki Ultath, Gothan Kol Galmak. Targat Gornot Kol, Vol Malki Ultath, Gothan Kol Galmak. Pel Mafin Sardut, Jud Kaina Gultau, Goth and Kogal Mak. Pel Mafin Sardut, Jud Kaina Gultau, Goth and Kogal Mak. Gal Mak, Gal Mak. Solta Flandergath. What does that last line mean, Drax? Solta Flandergath. It means we will be victorious. At last, the hunt for Fin Fang Foom truly begins. Man, this thing is ugly. Huh, what made you bring that thing onto the ship? Actually, I was hoping you'd tell me more about those two jobs you did. What you want to know? How'd you accidentally steal Groot? You have to understand, Quill. I was on the run back then. The war was still raging strong and... Them Kree scientists weren't exactly happy I left Half-World. I had to keep a low profile. By robbing the Collector? I was broke! And no offense, but the way the Collector plasters his face all over nowhere like he owns the place... He doesn't own the place. Someone had to knock him off his stupid flarkin' pedestal! Ah, the fact that I was drunk when I did it just makes it funnier. Is there a, a bounty out for you that I should know about? Relax. Anyways, I lifted one of them stupid Glarnot masks from some passed out jerk at Mantlos, stumbled my way to the Collector's Emporium, put on the mask, flashed some shiny rocks I found, and when his assistant's back was turned, I punked him on the head. <laughs> oh, you're unbelievable. <laughs> I know. It was gravy after that. Once I was sure he was out, I started cleaning out the place. Woke up the next morning on a stolen transport with a bag of loot and Groot. Uh, of course, he was just a baby back then. Barely taller than a weed. Aw, baby Groot. I knew right then and there that I had to take care of him. A cage ain't no place for guys like us. We've been partners in crime ever since. That, I believe. Eh, believe what you want, Quill. 
Troth is troth. When did you guys rob a secret lab? Eh, it was before we came after you. This Signog named Wheeler reached out to me in group. Wanted us to steal a bioweapon from some research lab in Arago 7. Piece of cake for a crack team like me and Groot. <laughs> wait, wait. And Groot wore a mask for this? <laughs> Man, you should have seen him, Quill. Bark naked except for the stupid mask of Thanos. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That was until we realized the eggheads on Arago actually hired Wheeler to get us there. Uh, six out of ten times, it's a trap. Yep. Turns out they wanted to study us. My implants, Groot's regeneration, super valuable to the right bidder. By the time I realized what was up, they'd got Groot. Locked him in a freaking cage, Quill. Like an... like an animal. Ugh, that's terrible. Yep, well, joke's on them. We weren't about to be turned into science experiments anytime soon. So, I went with plan B. One explosive charge later, and ba-boom, we were home free. <laughs> and the bioweapon? Sold it back to Wheeler for triple the price. Nice. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Those were the days. I'll just put this back. I am Groot. Sure, the ship systems are in bad shape, but I think we'll be able to take off. I am Groot. We'll figure out how to pull the giant dragon later. Who knows? Maybe it's really light. Like a bird with hollow bones. Dragons can fly, right? <laughs>